Optimistic updates are a way to give a user a snappy feedback when the response on the backend is predictable and when you know you can trust that it's going to succeed. Solid Router has not one, but two methods to help you achieve that. Hello everyone, my name is Achila and I'm part of the Solid EX team and we're going to talk about use submission and use submissions. These are methods in the Solid Router package that's going to help you achieve optimistic updates and with a few extra bells and whistles. Yoo-hoo. So let's jump right in. So here we are in my VS Code and we have a Solid Start app, no additional dependencies other than the basic template. And I have two routes, one for use submission and one for use submissions. And except for this little uh, sleep helper, all my stuff are in the same file. So we don't need to jump around when we're looking at them. So not right now, the use submission page is listed. And what we have here is a send data action. And I'm using the action helper to create one from solid router. And this receives an async function and that function pa- and receives as a parameter the form data as a callback. I'm setting it to run only on the server. And then we have so we're faking some flaky API so we know what happens when there is an error happening. And then I'm simulating a 2 second latency. Just make sure the request is going to take a little bit and we have enough time to check the pending state. Lastly, I just take the data name, pretend we do something, and then I return that input back. Going to my page component, what happens then now is that I have a use submission being used and it's going to receive that action as a first callback. Then a regular page and down at the bottom, I have a form and the form is a post and this post is going to receive the send data action. With that, I have my input, not controlled or anything, and I have my submit button, but whenever my request is pending, so I'm sending data, instead of submit, it's going to show submitting and so on. And also I can do something like this, where if it's pending, I want to disable so people cannot submit multiple times and um, and harass my backend. Then, I have a show here and then every time there is an error, so if my submission has an error, it's going to show that's there and it's going to provide with two little buttons. One of the buttons is going to be to reset my form. So it's going to clear the whole form and then the retry button is going to resubmit this data. All right, so this is how I'm gonna handle my errors. Finally, I got another show for the input and this input in my submit is going to represent the form data that's being sent upstream. So this is going to be updated as soon as I click on the submit button. So that's the optimistic data. That's the response that I'm uh, expecting. And then I have the result, which is the actual response from my backend. So let's see how this works on the browser. So let's say you have to like the video. And then I'm submit, optimistic updates right back, and then the backend comes back. And yeah, I got that data. Now you need to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel in the optimistic and back from the backend. Uh, no errors, I'm being way too lucky. Finally, we got an error. Now I have the option to then clear that form and my user is going to have the option to clear the form and change something that happened. So perhaps this is an error from a validation in the backend or something like that. Or if there, if it was just like a flaky API with that returned a bad 500 or something like that, then we can just retry. Retry again. Optimistic, it's submitting, and there you go, it worked. So this is how the use submission kind of works. And so use submission 
has also the second parameter, which is a filter function, where I could possibly try a send receive the form data that's going to be sent upstream. So we are going to only allow it to go through if it's not error. So in this case, if I say subscribe, it works. But if I say error, my request doesn't go anywhere. I cannot click it. And that's about the use submission. We also have the use submissions where you can see from the signature, they look pretty much the same. So I have the same send data that I created in this file as well. And I have the same submit that's being used with use submissions. But then here, as you can see, it's returning an iterable of all my submissions. So with the use submissions, you're going to see it's they're very similar methods. They have a very similar signature. The same data is the same action as we had before. And we are setting the submit variable just as well. We have a form with the method post and the action for sending the data. But now submit is actually an iterable of all my submissions. And as you can see, we are actually counting the attempt here. We're saying where they are, but again, the logic is going to be very, very similar. So whenever I am iterating through my submissions, whenever I have one submission, I can call retry and clear on them. If there's any issue with that, I can have the optimistic update as well. And my form works in the very same way as it did before. But let's see how it works down here. So let's say we need to like. So my attempt number zero worked and then subscribe. My second attempt still there and oh, this time it failed, but no, we need to subscribe. See what I did there? There we go. And then you can error. It's gonna work this time because this one doesn't have the validation. So let's refresh and let's add a filter. And now we are going to have the form data grabbing the name and then only letting submit if the name is not error. So in this case, error doesn't go. Only whatever other kind of error because I'm not doing any special check or validation, just the exact match for error. And that's it. So now you know how to handle form submissions with Solid Router. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if there's any other API that you would like me to record a guide on, please let me know either in the comments below or in the SolidJS Discord. I'm always lurking around there and I'm happy to take any feedback and help you use Solid and all its ecosystem according to the best practices and in the best way possible. If nothing else, see you on the next one. Bye.